Bryce Goggin. I'm a producer engineer. I own Trout Recording. Uh, I have uh, produced and mixed uh, a bunch of uh, independent uh, rock bands uh, over the last 20 years. I've worked with uh, Pavement, The Breeders, Anthony and the Johnsons, Jonas Policewoman, um, you name it. I've done it, but you know, mostly live instrumental music is, is, is what I think my forte is. Uh, it's been really exciting. Uh, she's put together a really terrific album, and uh, I guess what's uh, interesting working with uh, Cat Bird is, is uh, just how experimental she's been on this record in terms of the textures of her voice and, and the sounds that she's adding to this new record. Uh, I definitely have enjoyed like the palette that she's offered up. It's not just conventional, you know, like straight vocals or, or guitars or anything. There's just a, you know an awful lot of really interesting sounds and exciting sounds to, to juxtapose. To all this, you know, beautiful melody, be you know, outstanding and unique. Hold me, baby, you could eat what's left of me. Uh, one song that I particularly liked was uh, Walk On Baby. I, I thought that it was a, you know, a very exciting you know, rock track and, and, and it just it had a, a bunch of really interesting elements in it. But uh, Cry It Out was a really, you know, emotional track and, and, and I, I hope that uh, the way I mixed it, it kind of just, you know, brought that to the forefront. I use my vintage Neve console that I mix everything through, uh, and I also uh, recorded uh, all the mixes down to analog tape, so um, I, I wanted to get that sort of warm, old sound onto her record. I did find myself also taking some of the tracks, uh, guitar tracks and bass tracks, and re-recording them through my amplifiers, which were all old tube amplifiers as well. I guess, I guess I'm always excited to see people discover uh, what their music can sound like and, 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 and how, their, you know, how, how their vision can evolve in, in the studio. It's, it's always a, a really fulfilling thing for me. They walk out and they're sort of like enlightened and inspired uh, by how far I can take their music, how far everybody here can take their music. Uh, so I think that's probably my favorite thing about this job. So it, it's been a fun and exciting thing to do.